there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the loopylamb.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the crochet puff stitch. Now this is a great stitch for adding some texture and dimension to your projects and uh, if you're using uh, really soft yarn it can just, they act like little pillows, they're great. <laughs> uh, puff stitches are a lot of fun to do. And so I'm going to show you uh, the most common variation that I'm familiar with for puff stitches and then we'll talk about how uh, puff stitches can differ from pattern to pattern. So to follow along with today's tutorial, I'm using a five and a half millimeter uh, furls crochet hook and I am using a worsted weight yarn called Bravo Worsted Weight from our friends at We Crochet and this color is a corn flower. So if you're ready to go, just hit that like button and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. To do a puff stitch, essentially it is a variation on the half double crochet stitch uh, in that we're going to be doing a series of unfinished half double crochet stitches to get this big puffy texture. And I'll turn this sideways and you can see um, it is quite dense and if you turn it, it should be the same on the front and the back of your work. To start, I'm going to skip a chain here. This is, um, you're going to see me skip a chain, but that's not vital. Um, it's just so that way you can see the difference between the two. So how I like to do my puff stitches is I'll yarn over my hook, insert my hook into the stitch I want to do my puff stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I'm going to pull this loop up to the height of the previous stitches. You should have three loops on your hook at this point. It's going to be really handy to hold on to all of the loops that we're going to be adding to your hook because maintaining an even tension during your stitch will help keep them cleaner and nicer looking. So we're going to yarn over again. You can see I'm, I'm grabbing that yarn over with my finger and holding it, inserting back into the same stitch, yarn over, pulling up a loop, and again, pulling that loop up to the same height. I'm going to grab those uh, yarn overs with my finger here, yarn over again, insert back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, so at this point we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. Okay, so we're going to yarn over and insert back into the same stitch, and pull it back up. Okay, so you have two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. We're going to yarn over one more time, put it back into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So um, we should have, um, I believe, 11 loops. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So we have 11 loops, and you see that I'm, I'm maintaining that tension. Even if my finger's off, I want to maintain the tension because if I or to say let go of this, um, you can have a bit of a, a messy puff stitch. So to finish your stitch, you're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook at the same time. Now, technically you're done your puff stitch because you've created your stitch here, but a lot of makers, myself included, will yarn over at this point and chain one to close that puff stitch. And um, so when you are encountering a puff stitch in a crochet pattern, it's important to make sure that you're reading the description of the puff stitch carefully because it really is up to the designer whether or not they do use that chain stitch. So in the case of a, a pattern that I have coming up soon that utilizes these stitches, it, when I do do that chain one, I have to account for that in my row count. So I would skip this next stitch and work my puff stitch into the next stitch. So I'll show you how to do that one more time. So we'll yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch I want to do, yarn over and pull up a loop. There's three loops on my hook. We're gonna yarn over, insert back into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Do it again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay. So we have seven loops on our hook now. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up. Okay, so essentially I'm going to continue to do this until I have 11 loops on my hook. We're at nine. 
it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've got eleven loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all those loops. Okay, and then again, checking your pattern to see whether you're going to do that yarn over and chain one to close. Now, I had initially started talking about the differences in puff stitches. So puff stitches come in a lot of shapes and sizes. And when I say that, I mean that you can do a puff stitch with any number of yarn overs. So uh, here I'm, I've done, I have 11 stitches at the end, but you can also see a puff stitch that only has, say, five on your hook. So we'll do that quickly. So we've got three, five, and then we'll pull through all of those. All right, I've seen that in granny squares. Um, you can go five or seven. And the more yarn overs you, that you add, the more yarn it uses, the more space it takes up, and the puffier your puff stitch. Okay, so um, you can experiment with these and see what you like best. I This is my personal preference here, going into the stitch five times um, to create this size of a puff stitch. I think it's just the perfect combination of puffy without being a total yarn eater. Um, because if you really want to use a lot of yarn, you're going to do a whole lot of puff stitches. <laughs> but um, yeah, so try experimenting with them. And if you haven't tried these before, I'd love to hear what your experience is. And if you do have questions while you're trying to do these, please reach out. I'm happy to help you. And um, stay tuned for an upcoming free pattern on my blog that will be available for next week that does feature the crochet puff stitch. So if you do enjoy uh, free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylamb.com. If you enjoyed this free tutorial, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.